Hey guys, Shane from Gara One Fitness here. I've been a personal trainer here on the Central Coast for about 14 years. Um, just hope you're all staying safe during these crazy times. One thing I want to talk about today is back health. A lot of us are working from home or homeschooling, perhaps not in the most ergonomic sort of setups. So I just want to talk about a few things that might be able to help you with any back pain, whether it's pre-existing injuries um, or whether it's just a new thing that you're experiencing. I've um, myself had a few injuries with my lower back over the years, so um, I'd like to think well placed to help. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start with some low intensity sort of work there to, um, to help us out. So. We're going to start off with some flexibility exercises or, or just some basic stretches. Now these are five stretches that I've done probably for the last 15 years on a regular basis that have really helped me with my lower back. So laying down on the floor to start with, we're going to start with our glutes by crossing one leg over like so. So I've got the left leg on top of the right and I'm going to reach through there my right leg and just gently pull it back towards my chest. So where I'm feeling this stretch is in my left hand buttock or glute, perhaps into the lower back a little bit as well. Most importantly with all your stretches, try and keep your head, neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. So I'm not sitting up here all tense like this. Okay, I'm trying to stay relaxed and I'm trying to use my breath. So nice deep breaths in and slow breath out. Okay, so we're gonna hold each side for about 20 to 30 seconds, changing over. And sometimes what you find, you can actually get a, a bit more give on that breath out. So you can just increase the depth of that stretch throughout the 30 seconds. Okay, next up, still on our back, we're gonna stretch out a hamstring. So nice straight leg. This is one I do struggle with personally. So if you don't look like me, you're probably doing it right. So we wanna try and keep that knee as straight as possible. And again, pulling the thigh back towards our chest. And again, nice slow breathing. So a trick you can use with this one too, is if you've got a towel or a strap, you can wrap that around your shoe and that can make it a little bit easier to, to leverage against. Okay. So one more, and you might be thinking at the start here, these exercises that have nothing to do with the back. So our glutes, our hamstrings, and now our hip flexors, which I'm about to do, all attach around the base of that lumbar spine. So when they're tight, they're pulling on your pelvis out of alignment. So we want to try and, um, you know, really lengthen those muscles out. So this third one is our hip flexors. Okay. So it's just in that lunge position, but I'm squeezing my left buttock tilting my pelvis and trying to push that hip forward to really get that stretch up into that hip flexor. And we'll change sides. So again, in this position, I'm not really feeling much. It's when I add in that pelvic tilt, squeeze the buttock, push your hip forward, I can start to really feel it stretched up through here. All right, so now we will work up the spine a little bit more into a good old yoga move child's pose. So we're just gonna sit on our heels and walk your fingers forward like so, so we get that nice stretch right through our, our back. And just an add-on for this stretch is, I want you to imagine your hands are pointing at 12 o'clock, and then I'm just gonna walk them around to one o'clock. So I'm getting a bit more of a stretch on my left-hand side now. Walk it back to 12, and around to 11. Back to 12, and you can repeat that several times if you like. You might find each time you get a little bit further, so you might get closer to two o'clock. And around closer to 10 o'clock. Okay, back to the front. Now we're just gonna roll forward for our fifth stretch, and this is the Cobra stretch. So really important with this one that we use our arms and shoulders to do the lifting, okay? I'm not using my lower back muscles to lift. I'm trying to keep all those muscles around my spine nice and relaxed. Really important when we're in that hyperextended position. And I might even hold this one a little bit shorter. We do more repetitions, so sort of five to 10 seconds, probably three to five reps. Again, each time, keep the effort 
or the load in the arms and shoulders. There we go guys, that's just five basic stretches that um, I find really help just you know, with that mobility of the lumbar spine, um, which you know, even just now after doing them, I, I feel a bit looser already. So kick it off with those things and um, then we can sort of progress into some harder exercises from there. Okay, next guys, we're gonna go through some core strength exercises. So this is really important. And when I refer to the core, I'm not referring to those outer six pack muscles you know, that we get through, you know, countless crunches. I'm talking about the deeper core muscles that helps us support our, our lumbar spine particularly. When you think about our, our core area, between your, the top of your hips and the bottom of your ribs, there's not a lot of skeletal structure, just your spine. So it's really important to keep those muscles nice and strong. So a couple of basic ones uh, to start with, just a, a four point kneel. So hands under shoulders, knees under your hips, keeping your back in that neutral position. So not too far flexed either way, okay? And from here, we're just gonna lift one hand up and then alternate. Now this is level one, fairly basic, but really important that we're keeping nice and stable through this movement, okay? So I'm not sort of shifting my weight around, okay? Level two, we're gonna introduce the opposite leg. So I lift the left arm and then the right leg. And again, I'm keeping my hips nice and square the whole time. So while I'm doing this exercise, I'm keeping my stomach muscles drawn in just slightly keeping those core muscles switched on. Again, really important that we're not sort of twisting our hips around here. We're trying to stay as stable as you can. One little trick I often try if you've got a friend that can help you is putting a ball on your back, like just a tennis ball or something like that and try not to let it roll off. Um, can be quite challenging, but it really, you really notice the difference doing things like that because it gets those deep core muscles activating. Uh, so another one is rolling over onto our back and some bridging. Now, you can do this in a variety of ways. You can have your feet close if you want to get more into the glutes, a bit further if you want to get more into the hamstrings. Um, there's no right or wrong, it just depends on what we're trying to target. But again, squeezing the buttocks, keeping those core muscles drawn in, and lift up and hold that for five to 10 seconds. And down. Okay, so we can, over time, start to hold that for longer and longer. 20 seconds, 30 seconds and so forth. There are other variations as well. We can extend into a, a one-legged bridge. Okay. The main thing I'd say with any extensions are do everything within pain limits, okay? So it's not all about that burn that you would get through you know, doing countless sit-ups. It's just about activating the right muscles and getting them firing so they're doing the job they're supposed to and not relying on those outer muscles um, to support our spine. So that's, that's just a couple of basic ones. Um, one more just while we're down here, we'll do some leg raises. So I'm gonna start off with a level one again. So just a slight pelvic tilt so your back is nice and flat. I'm gonna stretch one leg out, lower it towards the floor, and then alternate. Okay, nice and easy at this stage. And again, some progressions. We can then bring both feet up and we're gonna lower one leg at a time with a bent knee. So this would be like a level two. Level three, we start to go one leg at a time with a straight leg, stretching out further. Then we can progress into two legs with bent knees and eventually two legs, straight knees. Again, most important is keeping that activation of your core. So making sure your back stays flat, otherwise your hip flexors can actually take over and then you, essentially your core isn't working at all. So. Yeah, focus on that good technique and you'll get good results. Okay guys, um, so that sort of wraps it up. There's a few exercises that really helped me. You know, a lot of my clients that have had back issues over the years. Um, again, can't stress it enough. It's really important to look up after your back. Um, vary your training up, you know, so do that core routine and the flexibility routine three to four times a week, but try and get some swims in, some walks in, just keep moving. The more often you move, the better you'll feel. Can't wait to see you back in here soon, guys, at Mingara One Fitness. Who knows when that'll be, but in the meantime, keep watching. Um, we'll, we'll have more, um, more tips and, and tricks along the way on, through these channels, and um, yeah, stay safe. Thank you.